distribution has been zero. Early entrance, though, for McCray. Barkley getting... Barkley backing Grant. A strong power move by Charles Barkley. Barkley posting up, reading the defense. Everybody is staying at home for Chicago until the last second. Paxson's going to try and come late to double team, but it's too late. You can't let Charles get this close to the basket. He splits him and scores. Now Barkley backing Grant, who's playing with five. Nice move by Charles Barkley. Already in this game, 13 7 Lakers. Barkley working inside on one and one. It's interesting this evening at the Laker end of the floor. They are not double teaming Elijah Wan or Barkley. They're, that means the perimeter people are not opening up for three point shots. They're saying, hey, Blount. You stay in here, rough Barkley up, because if you get in foul trouble, we will come with Travis Knight. It's a battle of attrition as far as foul trouble with these big guys. Barkley fights his way in, basket counts, and a foul against Sabalas. Barkley in the post. Barkley against Weatherspoon. Oh. Spinning inside. Looking to make the move. Steve, Steve Kerr cut him off. Barkley backs in. In the lane, got it, and he's fouled. Every basket they've got has been right underneath now. Barkley struggles to get down under. Pippen picks up the foul, his second. The help gets there too late, going to the middle. And Tony's got to get there and seal him off. You can't let him take that spin move to the middle. You've got to get in front. Kevin Johnson, tough baseline jumper. And Charles Barkley comes over the back to get the rebound. Got to block him off. Can't give him any opportunity. Barkley wants one on one with Simpkins. Jumper goes in. He was looking for the. Manning into the corner. Barkley one on one with Dickie Simpkins. Trying to drive baseline. Spin move in the middle. Put it up. And AC Green just threw Ron Harper out of the way. But it didn't matter. The bucket went in. Three backs in. Spin. Straightaway jumper. And three for Bar Barkley. Left in the game. This time the Rockets want to go to Barkley. He gets to the hook and hits it. Person dumps it in to Charles. Corey trying to stay with it. Barkley looks so quick tonight. Into Barkley, little pump fake goes in, and he just left Chucky Brown yeah, nailed in the floor. You know that guy. Here's Ainge for three. Rebound, Barkley. Barkley swings it. Smart play that time by Charles Barkley, working the offensive glass, makes an excellent move down low inside. Backs his man to the point where he can use his back to the basket moves. He shows it, gets him in the air, steps through, but uh-uh, no shot because the big man was coming, Shaquille. Instead, he passes it off to Dumas for the... Barkley to the crossover. A nice play. Shaquille O'Neal did not want to pick up a third. That is Orlando Magic leading the Phoenix Suns 24-22 as you watch the pull-up by Barkley. So Charles with his fifth foul. Three-point Phoenix lead. Barkley spinning in, making it look easy. He can put the ball on the floor against him. His quickness is a factor, and then he can put the pressure on defense. He gets to Barkley. Barkley with 14 is fouled again. I think another area, as you hear this crowd go crazy, where you're seeing a little bit of inexperience with this Golden State team. Now, this, just think about it. This is the playoff. If you're going to get take the ball to the basket, the defense, the double team coming over from Phoenix that time. Barkley backing in on Houston. Byron Houston, big, strong, nasty defender. He plays Barkley usually very well, but well, he didn't do it there. No. Just an early going to this ball game. Well, you can bet if there's any contact here, he's going to get the call. And Barkley in. Weber trying. 
Phoenix by two, four and a half minutes left in the game. Barkley and Weber are going after each other now. That defense coming from Sprewell. Barkley is fifth foul. Barkley gets the basket. Sprewell with his fifth. And Sir Charles will go to the line. And Barkley goes over, has some words for Sprewell. And Sprewell comes back and he has some more to say. And they are chest to chest. Sprewell's a competitor. Richard Dumas called, being guarded by Pippen. Single coverage, and Barkley pulls with a 13-point advantage. Barkley, Charles pulling his way, and then Kevin Lee, 440 remaining in the third quarter. Barkley gets inside, the basket counts, and a blocking foul. Scott Williams called for his fourth. Get Charles down low, close to the basket. Good things are going to happen because of his strength and power. And in fact, going back to what Ahmad had just mentioned, when Michael was playing golf yesterday, the reports came out that he was playing with Charles Barkley. When in fact... Did it against the Lakers three years ago. Did it against Portland last season. Barkley again draws the foul. The Bucks 22, Sixers 18, and Charles Barkley... That's two to that two. Game tightens, those shots become a little more difficult. Here's Charles Barkley working inside, and that'll count. Sixers. That's right. Here's Charles Barkley operating inside. Power move. Charles Barkley given by the NBA to the top bench players. Charles finding Clement, a little collision inside. No whistle. Barkley, not to be denied, snares the offensive rebound. J. Hill finds Charles Barkley. Charles with a tremendous tip. Oh boy, he makes it look so easy. Bulls, after a free throw, will give you some type of pressure, some type of press. How you react is the key thing is Barkley. Make sure that one's going down. Go. Barkley getting inside, and it's now 23-10. Now Grant guarding Barkley. Help from Armstrong. As Barkley swings in, yes, and it counts. What a move by Charles Barkley. And Barkley able to get to it. It is only a 12-point Chicago lead. We appear to be on the way to a blowout. And Charles Barkley single-handedly has broken. Here's Barkley. Oh, what a move by Barkley. And Cartwright is hurt. Off the collision, Cartwright for Mike Jeminski back in January. Here's Barkley. Able to pen 48. Unless there is a miraculous turn by the Sixers, this one is taking on the look of what the New York Knicks ran up against in game one of the Bulls Knicks series. What a shot by Barkley. Now Barkley setting against Oakley. Barkley with that. That second move set from three-point land. Phoenix at about 36. Here's Barkley. Pretty low. 16 for Trump. Ewing has 24 points. Barkley into the fadeaway. He was guarded by part of the Democratic process on this Phoenix club. As Barkley gets inside, 20 points for Trump. Barkley, nice fake. Beats Mason along the baseline. A hit fake. <laughs> the black Kojak. Barkley trying to make a move on Chambers. Wow, oh. he is hammered and he scores. I don't know who got him the hardest. I think all three of them fouled him. <laughs> I know Chambers and Lister were there. What, what makes it so much more impressive is that everybody on the floor knew what was going to happen. The Supersonics call for him still able here. To Charles. Again, a great move inside. Blocking. Give them the basketball. If Give they double the team, he'll kick it right back out to you. Barkley goes to the left hand. Oh, Charles. Charles looked the sweeter way. Yeah. We looked at that game. He was in the middle of the floor the entire night. Barkley gets it in very low. 
He gets it there low, he's unstoppable. Now, see, the double team is gonna come late here, and he splits it right there. I see, on that release, you've gotta put that one up soft. Hartley trying to do it off the dribble against Reed. Now, see, this is where everybody else stands around, but... Portland's gonna to have to dig in at the defensive end. Here's Barkley again, yep. He went right around Thorpe. Barkley with Perry on the drive. Barkley fights for the ball underneath, yep, and a foul. Charles Barkley never gave up on that one. Was able to control the ball, shoot it in, and draw the foul. I mean, you talk about effort. You know, I'm always talking about Barkley's second effort. Look, that ball's going out of bounds. Somehow he scratches, claws it. He doesn't have control of it ever. But strength and power, lady. Barkley against Robinson. Beats him baseline, and oh! Williams comes over. He still scores. <laughs> Well, there's only one word for this, but it's an Italian word, and it means killer. Ammazza! Barkley. That's good. You know, you look at Charles Barkley right there, you have to remember, Dennis Johnson right there playing against him, who's a guard, is a half an inch bigger than Charles. Charles is only six, four and a half. Look at that body control. He has three back to a three-point margin. There's 21 other coaches in the league saying, well, what's new? <laughs> There's Barkley. Hands the ball cleanly stripped. Gets it back and puts it in. It's interesting. The Celtics do not double off Andrew Tony. Strength, and he's going over a player that's seven feet tall and a player also that was first team all defense in the NBA. You think Charles? I bet he didn't. Now the two-man game on the right side. Barkley, McHale backs away. Barkley takes it through the double team. Up, tips it in. Oh, wow. He was out of bounds, came back and was able to tip that in. Good team defense that time by Seattle. Barkley using that body so well. This is what you play all season for right here. He can rest all summer. Barkley scores, and he is fouled. The whoop in him so unbelievable was the fact that he took up two guys with him and still scored it. Oh, against Sally, backs him in, turns him, goes up in the left hand and scores. Great move by Charles. Here's Barkley backing in against Rodman again. Takes the fall away jumper over Rodman and nails it. Well, you see before the... Isaiah's last two shots are highlight film shots. A little over two minutes to go. Oh, oh, oh. Wow. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> Speaking of highlight film. Sixers still nice. have the ball. Nice pass underneath to Charles oh, Barkley and he God. got that to fall somehow. And he'll get a chance now for a three-point play as Bedford got him. Now that is Charles Barkley. Quarter and extend that lead to 17 points. Barkley working on Rodman again. Rodman shut him down early in the game. He came to life though later and he's still on fire. Inside pass, they go into Barkley to the hoop, lays it in with the left hand. Charles Barkley ties the game. He has nine. And it goes to Barkley against Horace Grant. Barkley in the lane. Corzine knocked it away. Barkley gets it back and still scores. Barkley has 11. Brooks dumps it for Anderson. 20 footer ahead of the key. Rimming no. Rebound fight inside Barkley. Lays it in. Draws the foul. Charles Barkley eating up Ed Neely now. He gave Horace a little bit of uh, what, how you rebound here, and now he got Neely down in that same, he's got that torture box going. It's outside left against Jordan, shot clock at 10. Bounce pass into Barkley under the bucket, gets the shot up, and in. Corzine knocked it away, but to Barkley. He has the first one blocked, then lays it in and draws the foul on the next one. <laughs> what a performance. 41 for Barkley. Sixers up 19. 
Comes in play to Barkley, rumbles in on Oakley, turns back with a short shot and hits it. Barkley. Left swings to Jaminski, left baseline shot missed. Rebound Barkley, he lays it in and a foul on Oakley. Oh man, you talk about a strong rebound. He went inside of Barkley. Of Oak Up court is Barkley, rumbles in from the right side. Charles Barkley takes it baseline right, reverse layup is in. Charles Barkley. David Wingate off to the right, over the top Barkley. Barkley in low right. Gets the shot up, good, and a foul call. He had Jordan and Grant in the air. By Paxson. Cheeks has picked it up into Barkley, low right. Barkley fakes on Oakley, lean in shot, banked it in. Barkley! Barkley with 14, Philadelphia up. Jaminski feeds it to Barkley, right side. Barkley on the drive, in from the right, all the way to the hoop, lays it in at the buzzer. And foul. No. No foul, at the buzzer. good. Okay, that's, that's at the buzzer, right. So Barkley scores right at the buzzer. Again. This way you got to be careful right here because hold this ball too long. Oh.